welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and this is a, another tips and tricks video for um, those of you that um, have difficulty receiving signals on your shortwave receiver um, a series of tips so many videos being posted today that will try to help you understand what it's all about um, so we talked about of course the different times of day when listening to shortwave midday is not the best um, but also, depending on the time of day, you'll have to adjust what frequency you listen to. There's a general rule that is roughly, and I mean this isn't, you know, exactly like that because there's variations, but typically daytime frequencies will be higher frequencies. We often have daytime frequencies that will be above 10 megahertz and nighttime frequencies that will usually be below 10 megahertz. Um, it's not written in stone, meaning if you've, there's exceptions to that rule depending on where the transmitter and what you're listening to is located. So you could have some form of daytime reception of a signal uh, in the lower frequencies like the 49 meter band, uh, even in the daytime if a signal is very close to you. For example, amateur radio band 40 meters is open all day, but with signals that are closer to you. But at night, it will be open with much greater distance. So, as a general rule, you will want to tune in lower frequencies when it's dark. You will want to tune in higher frequencies when it's daytime. There's all sorts of little rules in here that are very, very unique. So, depending on what time you're listening in, you might actually be in darkness and listen to a signal in a very high frequency, like you might be listening to a signal, like I said, a local signal on a lower frequency and in midday. And of course, there's a transition zone. That means that, of course, if you are listening to a signal or trying to get a certain signal from uh, a certain area around the world, well, looking at this map, the live map of day and night is also important because it's going to actually tell you well, that signal is coming in from, um, you know, the darkness side of the Earth. So it might be a low frequency, and that means you might not hear it if you're in midday. Uh, for example, if I, uh, we look at uh, India here on the right side of your screen in the darkness, if uh, a signal from there is on 6 megahertz, well, it's going to propagate in here in that darkness bubble. But once it gets out of it and we, it propagates into the daytime level, it will fade out quite rapidly. So I'm located in Montreal on the northeast part of North America. I won't be able to hear that. So you got to take that into account. It's a complex thing and it's something that you learn over time, but um, it's something that you need to grasp at, at least a minimum of um, knowledge to actually understand what signal you might hear, what signal you might not hear on the shortwave bands uh, at all. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.